so hey guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can use the mean width and max width as well as how to use the mean height and max height so without any further ado let's get started with the project so as you can see this is the really simple example i'm creating so i have a div with the id of box so you can create that using div you can see Emmet is giving me the suggestion if i click on that this div is created now inside the starting div i can specify the selector or any other attribute so i'm gonna specify the id here so the id was like box and inside this box i have created the some random text you can put the text whatever you want but for putting the random text inside your html we use the lorem keyword and then the just type the whatever words whatever number of words you want to enter so i want to enter 200 words so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just click on the suggestion yes i want it or what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press the enter the result will be the same so now these uh, 200 words are added in the box in let's go in the css here you can see i have removed the default margins and paddings for all the elements inside the html document i have uh, linked the css page this is the css page i have opened side by side and i have linked the css page using the style dot uh, using the link tag with the forward slash style dot css so this is the path of the css which is my this file this is the css file so i have specified the path for that let me do that again just put the forward slash and now it will give you the suggestions click on the style dot css suggestion and now your css is successfully linked with the html page so what you can do is now you can change the styles in css and those styles will be applied to the html elements for html document so as you can see this is the style.css file which i have opened side by side let me do that again for you how i can do that just go to the css file and then just go to the view and editor layout and then i want to open the css file at the right side so i click on the split uh, right and then this is the same style.css and i'm gonna just get rid of this so this is my html i can just drag and drop this here and here so this is your choice so this is how we link the page and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna style this so as you can see i have removed the default margins and paddings and i have selected this uh, div with the id of box i can also select this like this now i have set the width as 800 pixels and background color as aquamarine now if i just visit the page as you can see the width of the div is 800 pixels let me inspect the page so this is the elements tab in the elements tab i'm gonna open the body and inside this body i have this div here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna click on that so as you can see the 800 pixels style is applied if i increase or decrease that i can do that you can see using the dev tools but now let me just uh, go to the computer tab and here you can see i have the width of 800 pixels so this width will be the fixed width as i said in the previous video and if i just try to uh, so and uh, if i try to minimize the screen size or minimize the browser so as you can see this scroll bar is added so if you don't want this behavior then you can use the so if you don't want this behavior then you can use the max width 
so here I have the I have specified the max width for the box inside the body so max width should be 800 pixels it should more be it should not be more than 800 pixels so now as you can see if I just uh, inspect the page so you can see the width of the element is now 800 pixels so if I just resize the window the width will also be down so as you can see the width is now according to the uh, window now because the I have set the max width should be the 800 pixels but the user can resize the window so if I want to add the limit so uh, after that limit the scroll bar will be added and the user will have to just scroll it uh, right and left so for that I can use the mean width so as you can see if I scrolling the window to the left side the content inside this is uh, flowing towards the uh, bottom so if you want that to be fixed so you can use the max width so let me give you example if I want uh, the user to not go more than 550 uh, pixels then I can use the main width property 550 pixels now if I go below the 550 pixels the scroll bar will be added as you can see on the top the this is the width that is changing and if I go below that number so as you can see this scroll bar is added now so now I can just do that and if I want to see the uh, whole content I have to just scroll it and the content is no longer overflowing towards the bottom as you can see it is overflowing as soon as I go below 550 pixels it is fixed so I can go I can type even more big number like let me just type it 650 number so if I just resize below 650 as you can see this is 650 and now the content is no longer overflowing for seeing the whole content I have to just scroll it scroll the page so this is how the max height and min height works so now let me give you a quick example with the image inside this box so let me just delete all that extra text and add an image here so if you don't want uh, so if you don't know how to add the image inside your document you can go and watch my course on HTML which I have created which is free so here you can see I have used the image tag and now I have to select the image in the source so I have specified the path as ocean image which is here inside my HTML document this is the ocean image I, uh, it is on the same directory so I am only specifying one forward slash and then ocean.jpg which is the name so now in the alternative I am gonna type the ocean so this is the alternative text and for the width I want to specify the width for that as like 800 pixels or let me just leave it and show you so as you can see the image is very big so I have to give it a size so if I specify the width as 800 pixels or so max width is 800 pixels let me just decrease that to 600 pixels and let me also just decrease that to like 450 pixels and let me make the image bigger than the box so for that I am gonna type 800 here it is already bigger than the box but actually I am uh, want to make it a little bit shorter and I also have to specify the height for the height I want to specify as like 300 pixels I don't need to type the pixel here and what's happening here now if I go to the browser now as you can see the image is bigger than the div so let me make it responsive so for making it responsive what I have to do is 
I have to select that image so for that I am using I will use the uh, element selector so I'm typing the uh, div and with the ID of I'm selecting the div so what I'm gonna do is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this div with the ID of uh, box and just go inside that box and select the image so for that I'm gonna type div and then the ID which is the box and then inside that box I'm gonna select the image so the image is selected now so now I'm gonna make the width of the image as 100% so as I said in the video the percentage value in the width and height means the relative to the parent relative to the width and height of the parent so now 100% means the 600 uh, pixel if I go to the browser as you can see the image is now the 100% width of the parent which is the 600 pixels so let me decrease that to 6 mean width so now I have decreased the mean width to 350 pixels so let me make the height for the image as auto so now I have made the image as responsive image so I can just scroll that so this is the 600 this is 600 pixels I can go below that there is no scroll bar added as you can see but if I go below uh, uh, 350 pixel so it has added the scroll bar so you can add this functionality to not make your image too short to display so if it will go below 350 pixel it will just uh, show me the scroll bar now I have to scroll the page in order to see the whole image so that's how we use the max width uh, and min width so that's how we use the max width and min width let's move on to some uh, like uh, now let's move on to the max height and max width so for that example let me just get rid of these properties and let, let's also get rid of the image mm, let me just get rid of this image now let's uh, just specify the height first before teaching you the mean height and max height so this is the height property let me specify the height as 200 pixels and let me also just increase the words like 200 so if I visit my page so as you can see so now let me also add some more text because this is not enough to show you the text is overflowing let me add 100 words more so as you can see the content is overflowing from the div because the height of the div is 200 pixels if the content is more than 200 pixels so it will overflow from the element and now let me just go there and instead of the height let me make it the minimum height mean height so now I have set the minimum height as 200 pixels so if I just cut this uh, extra text from here using the undo if I go to the browser now so as you can see this is the minimum height and if I add more content than this height then the height will increase so but it cannot be less than this height so if I go to the browser uh, if I go to the VS code again let me add the 400 words you will see that the uh, as you can see the height is increased but the but the content is not overflowing now so if the content is more than 200 pixels it will just increase its height and I can also set the max height so if the content will be more than that height then the content will overflow so suppose I want the range to be 
minimum as for 200 and maximum as 400 if the content is more than the 400 pixels height it will just overflow so as you can see that means the content is not or uh, let me just inspect the page and let's go to the computer tab so this is the height of the uh, content if it go uh, let me just increase the height so like this as you can see after it goes more than 400 pixels of height the content is just overflowing or you can also check it like resizing a window like this as you can see the scroll bar is added now i have to scroll the page to see more content so that is the mean and max height so if i just remove all the data from here now this minimum minimum height will be working as you can see this is the minimum height which is 200 pixels it can go more than 200 pixels but not more than 400 pixels because i have specified max height as 400 pixels so i hope you guys understand how to use the mean height max height mean width and max width css properties so now i will see you guys in the next video till then take care of yourself and happy coding